Alright, I'm going to make this this kind of video because it's going to be 15 minutes long and if you use Minicam and have a blank image when you're doing a direct video upload, it uploads immediately. At least it does for my Mac. And that's something I discovered. Regardless, I'm going to do one of those, hello, my name is whatever. So, let's begin. My name's Leon. Leon Red. And I'm from Manhattan, New York, which is a very big hot spot. And I'm born in a place not too far from where I happen to be right now, but I also live in Yonkers, Westchester with my dad from time to time. So it's not a very blank slate kind of thing. Regardless, there's tons of things I can talk about, but I'm going to stick to the politics. You see, one of the major things that everyone talks about when they talk about me is the fact that because of my unusual personality, my teachers had to report these things constantly, these little clicks. And I would bark in little trips every now and then, try to look to see if I have anything strange about my personality, autism maybe, or something of that nature. But nothing was really found. But oh well. Now let's get on with my political views. Since kindergarten, me and my friends at that kindergarten would always pretend to be the Power Rangers every time we saw an episode of the Power Rangers and we would follow the leader. Everyone wanted to be the Red Ranger, especially me. Carlos, this kid, always was the Red Ranger. And I, having red as my favorite color, was really wanted to be the leader. I really wanted to be the hitman. Yet, eventually I learned that that wasn't going to happen. And then I said, how about I become the Green Ranger, which really surprised everyone in that maturity and from then on green became my favorite color and to this day I still think about that it's not something I talk about much because well people usually ask really dumb questions about me <laughs> and since 11 after watching a lot of films about environmentalism, I decided I wanted to become a politician. I just had an interest in studying politics. Before that, I was only taking an interest in gaming and anime, anything trivial of that nature, because I was immature and I didn't. I wasn't used to an outdoors environment aside from a little bit of parkour in my park. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it, that. Yeah, I loved doing things of that nature, although it's questionable considering those little platforms were a death magnet whenever it rained or snowed, but I didn't really care. Anyway, so I had a very altruistic outlook on life. I became, began studying politics as a Democrat. I wanted to become not just any politician, I wanted to become a president. And I even spoke to politicians and tried to associate with them who are now currently in jail. So, who figured? Now, one of the things is that I wasn't just any old Democrat. I had combination of Ron Paul economic principles and how I view 
the problems with the recession and inflation, which was the big thing in the Bush era, where I spent my younger years. And really, I also focus a lot about progressivism, welfare transfers. And I had a very neo-capitalist outlook with my neoliberalism. So all in all, you could say I'm a, I was a Democrat who had elements of progressivism, neoliberalism, and libertarianism on the left side. That's a pretty bold leftist radical. And it's basically progressive liberalism, left libertarianism, and I think, yeah, neoliberalism. So that was what influenced my views. I was very anti-war which is another element that you can throw in there. And I knew a lot about anarchism too, but... which is strange since I didn't really know a lot about these things. I didn't read that much into it. But my intuition told me that there was something in it besides the straw man. And of course, around the summer of 2008, I began watching um, Protein View. Protein View spoke a lot about, let's see, critical thinking and his little critical thinking videos, which really didn't feature much. It was just a devil advocate stuff. Still managed to break me out of my dichotomistic thinking and became an anti statist around. July of 2008. I thought that was kind of interesting. So my dichotomistic thinking was broken. I became anti statist who was also an anarcho, an anarcho primitivist. So naturally, my views on politics also became less passionate and it was more like, oh well, whoever's right, right. That was less butthurt than I am now. My altruistic outlook on life became more of a mellow outlook on life. And of course, I was still pol studying politics rigorously. And I came in contact with Confederal Socialists around February 2009. Hold on, I'll be back. <sighs> and at first, my reaction to his videos were, what's this stupid droning that would only jack off to them because they featured hot anime chicks? And eventually, I started studying more into them. Well, I always was always studying into them, even when I was doing the doodle. And I found a lot of interesting stuff. What really hardened my anarcho-capitalism or market anarchism was really the video government versus the state. Ooh, that's a scary-ass green cockroach. It's on my bed. That thing might kill me. It's like, it was like hopping around. I mean, I know cockroaches that can fly, but that's a green, maybe it's a baby cricket. No, it's getting closer. Okay. Yeah, that thing's totally gonna kill me. Okay. Regardless, and I started becoming, well, middle school was practically over at this time, and I really realized that I couldn't talk about anything politically, intellectually, despite showing potential. And then I went to sign on to FringeElements.Ning.com after middle school was over, and it's the start of high school. 
I realized something. I became a little bit more humanized once middle school was over. So, from everything from birth to the end of middle school, all of a sudden I started showing in the week after more human characteristics. It wasn't instant, but it was so noticeable that I wasn't acting like some sort of deranged freak that I was able to behave more normally. I was able to interact socially of different natures and it was pretty interesting. I would call it humanization. Regardless of um, yeah, I say regardless, followed by um a lot. I actually started becoming a guest man on FringeElements.Nig.com. Now, look at his blogs regularly. I only did three blogs, and for the most part, I was just looking at the message boards, posting up three of them only. And I wasn't really doing much. I commented on quite a few of them. But... Yeah, whatever. And that was on his Tumblr a lot, reading a lot of what he had to say. And I was agreeing with almost everything he said. That was starting to creep me out. Because I have always been extremely mixed in my views. So to be in one person's views for too long was kind of unnatural to me. And I remember one status and a few funny statuses. Um, there was a series on abortion where these anarcho capitalists were saying, Oh, you're such a statist because you're against abortion. They were showing signs of actually being confused liberal brats. And then there was another one that was funny, which was one where someone was intimidated because the police were arresting someone. And this other one where this guy posted a status saying, Well, if why is it that socialism has, um, they're talking about one who kills all rules on one who fucks all will always be held down. It was talking about prostitution and murder and the correlation between communism and all that stuff. It was ridiculous and it was really short too. And the worst one, it was from this guy. I think it, it was the same guy it was Don't Hurt Me Joe Biden or something. And he said that, yeah, murder should be legalized because if you can't survive, Without the state, then you're better off dead. And I'm thinking, oh wow, these guys are idiots. And of course, I began to study my own views and try to do things my own way. And I turned into. That still had some uniqueness to me. But for the most part, I was a generic libertarian. I only showed real potential as of. March through May, and then now June through July I showed a lot of potential, and as of this month I feel that I have something going with fancy status from circa 2012. Um, and a lot of the new ideas I have in my head. So yeah, what can you say? A man of many different complications. A libertarian, anarchist, and anti-statist. And I really, the whole time I'm doing this, I'm not really interested in this at all. I'm actually more distracted because people around me are trying to sleep and I'm talking all this good shit. But hey, fuck them. <sighs> well, that's my self-analysis. I'm Leon Red. I know I've posted like five videos this day, seriously, but it's gonna slow down because I'm gonna be making more videos and researching more, so I'm gonna have to take a little break. Plus, I have everything for anti stays in circa 2012 done, and I just need to put it all together, make it public at 2012, I'm uploading all my Let's Plays. Well, now I'm not, I'm just making them. And recording them all. I transfer the files and do that shit. I'm not focusing on my podcast. That's going to